Hello there, friends, and welcome to another lovely day in the town of Lorien here in Animal Crossing New Leaf. Mayor Marilee is here in the cafe to get a cup of coffee because we have Brewsters now. Oh, Phineas is in here again. <laughs> well, well, we meet again. Yes, would you come outside and give me a badge, please? <laughs> We're going to get a cup of coffee because it's my understanding that once we drink a certain amount of coffee, we might get to get a job here. So that's what we're gonna work on. We're gonna enjoy this brew until we can hand some out too. <laughs> I think when we catch yeah. villagers in here, we have to start talking to them about how they like their coffee and try to remember, maybe write some stuff down. What a happy moment. I feel like my entire body is being enveloped by the scent of coffee. And yes, it's the afternoon here, but you know what? <laughs> An afternoon cup of coffee is good too. Alright, we're gonna head out and get a few things done. Okay, what, sh what shall we do today? Oh, here's Allie. Let's talk to Allie. I feel like we've been neglecting our villagers. If this were a job and I were your boss, I'd tell you to knock off early and come back fresh tomorrow. Oh, she thinks I've been playing for a long time just because I've had my 3DS on for a long time. I haven't actually been playing, though. It's just been sitting here. Lyman's outside somewhere. Oh, you guys, um, Harry moved out. He left us. And I changed this a little bit. I added some of these tiles around the tree, which I think is super cute. I think... I think I'm going to replace the paths that we've made. <laughs> um, you're probably like, what? Maybe not all of them. I do really like this path and I'll probably keep it in some places. But also, I saw some paths in some of the other dream... Oh, we get meow coupons. In some of the other dream tours I went on, I was going on so many at the end to try to get that silver badge, which... Never happened unless Phineas is going to come out of that coffee shop and give me one right now. <laughs> um, I didn't quite didn't quite get enough to earn that, so I'm very sad. We're leaving our weeds around because of weeding day that comes at the end of the month. So we're we're trying to grow a few weeds, so maybe we have something to do on that day. Hey hey hey, Bell M, it's the perfect weather for chilling outside. Seriously, cool cat. Anyway, did you need something? I'm getting support for my petition. Pecans and walnuts for all. But I still need more signatures. Oh, he looks so sad. I think signatures from other towns would really bolster my cause, you know? Well, Bob, <laughs> you're a few days too late, buddy. We can't go to other towns anymore. Oh, I'm so sorry. I only have until the end of today to get them. If you'd have talked to me a week ago, we could have helped you out. Can't do it today. Sorry, Bob. Maybe I'll ask again later. I was really trying not to make this too sad of an episode. And Bob had to go do that. <laughs> Let's see if Skye's home. Nope, she's out too. Alright, so Harry's house was right back here. And he is now gone. Left a nice little bear patch in the ground. Hopefully we'll be able to plant some flower this there. Um, and get something to grow back. Although... We have been planting flowers around on some of the bare spots and I haven't really noticed any grass growing back yet. I don't know. Maybe it's just really slow or maybe I'm not paying good attention. It could be either one of those. There's Wart Jr. Let's see what he's got going on. Hey, M-Girl. I'm impressed to see that you're surviving, cool cat. Okay, so did you need something? When you see other people's homes, sometimes you just get some really great decorating ideas, am I right? So what do you say, Marilee? You're welcome to come over and hang out if you want to. Sure, let's do it, Ward Jr. Look at his little bird shirt. That's so funny. <laughs> Let me know when's the best time for you after 5 p.m. Oh, after 5 p.m. Okay. Um, what time is it now? I don't even know. Must be... Wait, after 5 p.m.? I thought it was already after 5 p.m. I'm so confused. Okay, let's just go with 5.10. Okay, just come over to my place at 5.10. Yeah, see you then. Okie dokie, we will do. So what time is it? 
408, okay. <laughs> I just look, I, because I was half expecting to see the sunset when I came out of Brewster's for some reason, but um, no, not yet. Okay, so here is our latest public works project, which I, I don't know if I showed you guys anything about this, but <laughs> there it is. I think it might have actually been raining this morning, but I'm going to water these flowers anyway. So we have to decide what we want to put inside. I saw something really cute in a dream address that we're actually going to visit in a little while. I know we thought our last one was the last one, but we got an under the wire submission and I definitely wanted to include it. And you guys will not be disappointed. We'll be going there in just a little while. Let's see, I've already sold some stuff to Reese today. I have over here one of these giant clams because we're gonna wait until we find some more good music and make another music box. Oh, look at this, we've got a campsite visitor today. <gasps> it's punchy, wait a minute. <laughs> Okay, guys, would this not be perfect and hilarious? So Punchy has lived in our city folk town for quite a while. And he just moved in to Larkshire over in New Horizons. Can we get him here in this town too? Harry just moved out, so there's room. Actually, I think we might only have eight villagers right now because didn't somebody else just move out right before Harry? You're from this town, aren't you? I'm having a great time camping here. Well... Let's have a great time living here. <laughs> Tents are a lot more comfortable than I thought. They're so comfy, I'm napping even more than usual. Well, that doesn't sound like a problem, Punchy. Whenever I camp, I think about what life was like before we had all these modern conveniences. I bet life back in the day was so relaxing all the time. Well, I wouldn't go that, I wouldn't go that far. I had a funny dream last night that I was living in this town. It seemed like I was having a real good time, too. Say, you thinking what I'm thinking? You should move here. Yes, I am. Huh? You mean it? Sweet, then it's decided. I'm moving here. My name is Punchy, and you're Marilee, right? Good to officially meet you, Marilee. Right, time to eat something and work up my strength for the move. Yay! <laughs> Yay, we get Punchy. Oh my goodness, that is too hilarious. So, okay, hold on. What was I going to check? Oh, I, yeah, I wanted to check our map because... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We do. Who else moved out? I'm, try <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I should be able to remember this, shouldn't I? Okay, we still have Bob and Deirdre. We still have Tangy. Sky and two, two. Oh, it was Cole. Cole moved out. And then, like, the next day, Harry told me he was going to move out. And I was like, wait a minute. Two villagers can move out at once in this game? That never happens in the other games. We, we only ever get down to nine villagers, I think. Okay. So, guys, um, yeah. I was talking about the path a little bit. And I was thinking, because I saw in some other towns that I really liked that there were some paths that were three spaces wide and that would totally solve our problem over here by the train station because we had this little path but it's kind of in the wrong spot and then the train station was three spaces you know because it's like a one centered and then this was kind of three spaces so i kind of started here and i think we're gonna i think we're gonna replace some some of this some of the path maybe just above the river maybe we'll do the path like this above the river and then below the river we'll have this nice little wooden path to kind of give the town a little bit of separation but i i think i want to try the three space wide paths because it looked so nice in in some of the other towns that i went to so this is what i've come up with just lining it with this little gray flower thing and having the purple down the center I think that's going to be really cute. So we're going to have to rework some of what we've done up here on this side of the river. Which is okay. Gives us something to do. Keeps us busy. We have to... Oh, you know what? We need to pick. We need to go pick another public works project. Isabel's probably going to want to do a party about this one first. <laughs> so we'll go plan on doing that party. And then, and then we'll pick a new one. Super exciting. Okay, Isabel... Come tell us about the party. 
Oh, Mayor, I just remembered. The townsfolk would like to hold a ceremony to celebrate completing the fence project. And considering you're the one who made all this possible, we want you to attend. What do you say? I'd be happy to. We love parties. I was really hoping you'd say that because I kind of already finished the preparations. All right then, let's head to the site of the ceremony, shall we? Hello everyone! Welcome to the grand completion ceremony for Lorian's Vital Fence Project. Thank you for joining us for this momentous occasion. I'm Isabel and I'll be your host today. Thank you, thank you, you're too kind. We're going to keep this short and sweet so let's jump right in. First up, we have an incredibly short speech from our very own mayor. Take it away, Mayor Merrily. Hooray for everyone! <laughs> Well said, Mayor. You have quite a way with words. Okay, moving on. Everybody, please locate that item we passed out earlier and get ready. And now, to celebrate the completion of this public works project and all the hard work that made this possible. Ready, set, pop! <laughs> Whee! That concludes our ceremony. Thanks everyone for all of your hard work and for taking time out of your busy schedules to be here. Yay. <laughs> okay. So celebrating our fence project. And you know, one, one of the things I was thinking guys is that it would be nice to maybe put a couple street lamps on either side of this fence. Do we think so? I think so. We're going to start with this side since all our flowers on this side are wilted and we can't pick them up. But we're going to take this out of the way because I think right in that spot is where I want to put it if Isabel lets us. So let's go see if we can get a pretty street lamp to put next to our fence. And then we can finish decorating the rest of it once we get that in. Or two of them actually. And it shouldn't be too expensive either so we should be able to maybe pay it off today. I think we have um, over a hundred thousand bells in our pocket right now. Public works project. What would you like to work on? Start a new project. Okay, here are the current requests. We haven't had any new requests lately and we're not going to go for one of these more expensive ones at the moment. I think it'd be fun to get a few little ones around town. Though that fountain is pretty, but we don't exactly know where we want the fountain yet. I think we want to put in some of these street lamps. Yeah, that's the only that's the only street lamp we have right now. So let's go ahead and get that. It's 39,800. We're going to confirm. Would you like to start work? Yes, let's do it. Yay, let's go find a place to build. Please lead me to the spot where you'd like to place the street lamp. Yes, ma'am. We will do it. <laughs> we already know. Let's see here. Right here. Next to our fence. Yes, Mayor. Is this about where you'd like to place the street lamp? What do you think? So close to the fence that it'd be very difficult to place it right here. Hmm. We're planning to put in a new street lamp this time. From where you're standing now, we need an empty section of land that's one left and right. And then another two spaces back. Okay. So I think we can I think we can put it where I was thinking. I I was just standing in the wrong spot. So I had I hadn't quite figured out yet if I needed to be standing in the spot or if Isabel needed to be standing in the spot. So I'm going to Come here, Isabel. <laughs> I'm going to come right here because this is the spot where I want it. So that's where I'm going to stand. We'll see if that's right. Is this about where you'd like to place the street lamp? Yes. It's so close to the fence. No. Okay. So question, if we put it... So we can't put it... Oh, I'm very sad about that. All right, let me try this. <laughs> Okay, yes, I think this would be perfect. So I just moved over like a little scooch. Okay, that's a good spot for it, right? Now now the fun part is going to be trying to get the one on the other side in the exact same spot. I really kind of wanted it one space further forward than that. 
All right, let me let me see if I can get it one space forward. Okay, I've got it in the spot. <laughs> I've got it in the spot that I wanted it. Understood. Well, let's go ahead and start the needed preparations. Oh, it did take out our bush though. Okay. To help us gather donations to fund the street lamp is our helpful town gyroid Lloyd. It's going to be hard to wait for all the donations to arrive, so... <laughs> Okay, she's got to go back. You don't need to worry about making the trip back. All right, we won't. Okay, well, I'm sad we lost our bush. I think we'll probably be able to plant another one there, maybe. But that is where I wanted the street lamp, so we'll have to remember. I had to stand, like, right in this spot to get it there. And I don't think that we can dig... I don't think that we can dig up bushes and move them in this game. So, we'll probably lose that other bush when we put the other one in, too. But anyway, <laughs> moving on. We have a street lamp now. Let's pay for it. Yep, we're just gonna, we're just gonna pay it right off. Not even give the villagers a chance to help. Oh, 39, yeah, 800. Confirm. Yay, we're gonna have a street lamp. <laughs> awesome! Okay, now what we're going to do with the rest of this money in our pocket is go put it in the bank up on Main Street because we want to be saving up not only to pay off our next loan, but there's a little item that I want to earn. It's an adorable little letter set that you can get from getting a certain amount, and I think it's 500000 in uh in the bank account. So we'll, we'll find out, I guess. I should just look it up. It'd be the easiest thing. Um, but we're gonna deposit and we'll repay our loan later once we get once we get the five hundred thousand in there. So right now we have seventy one thousand bells. No. On hand. We have eighteen thousand nine hundred in the bank. We're gonna put in fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. <laughs> so that we still have a little bit to play with because we haven't been to the shops yet today. So let's go see what they're offering today. Let's see. What music is this? I don't think that's one we want. Ooh, Alpine Bed. We're taking it. See, that's why we needed to keep a few bells. <laughs> Just in case of Alpine furniture. Alright, we're going to take that. We're going to get a fortune cookie today because we have some play coins. And they're really fun. <laughs> Alright, bets on if this is another chihuahua or now or not. We've gotten four chihuahuas so far, which I think is hilarious. I did gift a couple of them <laughs> over the last few weeks. Getting those pet chihuahuas adopted. Breathing underwater is rather easy, assuming you have gills. Okay. Let's find out what that means. Our shop does not offer a point system, so we ask for your understanding. Uh, we have a lucky ticket. Here it is. Fortune number 14. It's definitely not a chihuahua. Number 14. A blue Pikmin. Aw, fun. <laughs> it's gonna look a little silly. But we might wear it for a little bit. Because Pikmin are so cute and fun. Okay, we're gonna be a little Pikmin for a minute. Let's see, do we want the little painting set? You know, I would love to buy it, but we are so out of room in our house right now. We, we really just need to concentrate on getting some bells so we can start expanding things and maybe not doing a bunch of public works projects. <laughs> but we have to do both. Okay, let's see, there's a bear costume. Um, a few things, but nothing we want today. Let's go check labels side, labels side. Let's see, a graduation cap, no, sunglasses, funny nose, nope, we don't need any of that. But we should go see if Leaf has another white azalea to replace the one we lost to the street lamp. 
So when Isabel talked about placing it, oops, that's flowers. Well, we'll take the white violets too. <laughs> Um, she said one space to the left and the right and two spaces back. She didn't say anything about spaces forward. So I don't know why it took out our little... A sweet olive. Oh, I think we might have a couple of those in our storage already. I wonder if those are the ones... There were some pretty bushes in the dream address we're going to in a few minutes. <laughs> So I'm wondering if that's what they are. It was an it's an autumn island. Town. Oh my goodness, town. <laughs> it's an autumn town. I, th I think might be the first autumn town we've gone to. We didn't get a white azalea, so we can't replace this yet. Uh, but I'm going to turn you over to Marilee of Monday, who went to the dream address, and I want to share that with you. And I will see you later, friends. Okay, guys, so there was a reason that I put a question mark at the end of our last thumbnail. Was it our last dream tour? It turns out we did get one last minute submission from France in the Discord and we are going to go take a look at that now. If you look at my clock there you will see it is Monday the 8th and the shutdown is going to happen in just a few hours. Alright so this was shared in the Discord and they showed the name of the island but I don't speak French <laughs> and I'm not really sure how to pronounce it so I'm gonna leave that up to you guys but we're gonna get the number put in here and go check out this dream and I don't need to read it out because by the time you see this it will be gone okay here we are we got some nice pretty bushes here looks like there might be a few gifts over to the left I hope you have the most amazing time here. Yes, we will do our best. Okay, is this one, is this in fall time? Ooh, look at this. Okay, wait a minute. Let's not give away too much here. It is fall time. Look at all the orange trees. So pretty. Oh, and they've got a nice big tree too. So uh, it's definitely another town that has had some work put in. You can already tell just from right around the plaza here. It's kind of enclosed in with flowers and bushes and these beautiful oranges. Oh my goodness. And the cedar trees are a little bit of a different color too. Let's see what we've got here. Lots of fun gifts to check out. Um, I think we're going to go with the glow wand. I do love those. Oh, it's the blue one. Okay. Super fun. <laughs> That'll give us something to carry around when we walk around and take a look at everything. Let's see. Looks like there's a path over here. So why don't we start right there and look at this path got the fall leaves on it so pretty we're already seeing some gold roses and look at this money trees wait how do you get money trees in new leaf okay if you know how to get money trees in new leaf let me know in the comments uh, I am NOT aware okay look at this path this is so cool it's kind of like a little tiny plaza area with a little bush in the middle here and we have sunset the loveliest time of day, <laughs> honestly. Okay, uh, looks like we got Risa's shop right up here in the corner. We're, we're in the very corner. And I see on the map, oh, we got a little clock over here too. Super cute. Let's look up at it. That is a cute little clock. There's so many public works projects in this that I have not seen. Okay, the path goes on around over here. Whose house is this? Rod's house, okay. Got a purple house here, and Elise's house. Oh, and more money trees. Wow, okay. <laughs> um, okay, that's the plaza. Oh, we've got the little glowing heart here. And another public works project. Some concrete pipes, okay. Oh, it's a bench, that's cool. <laughs> I didn't know that about that. I think I've seen those before. I just never knew you could sit on them. We do see some lily of the valley here, which means perfect town status, which is awesome. They've got these little mushrooms dotted everywhere and these cut bamboo, which I absolutely love. I've seen those in a few different dream addresses now. I love looking through the little <laughs> lighted heart. And it's so nice that they put this at sunset so the lighted up things actually are on and we can see them in all their glory. Ooh, I love this gong. I think it's a gong. It sounds like a gong. I think I called it a bell before, but that's such a cool item. So cool. All right, we have some more villagers down here. Tex, and one right below. Who's this? Apple. Okay, Apple's house has a nice overview of the beach here, which is nice. Looking out at the ocean, we've got black 
roses through here. It's got the bamboo. This is so pretty. <laughs> it's so pretty. I was about to say prettily arranged, which is why... Um, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> My words are getting garbled today. Who's this? Tex, you're new to here, right? Sure you are. I know everyone, and I don't know you. Well, until we meet for real, enjoy yourself here. Okay, so look here. We've got Stonehenge surrounded by black lilies and purple pansies, which is so pretty. Look at all the colors are, are totally fall with all these purples and blacks and oranges and golds, and it just fits so nicely with the sunset and, and the orange trees. It's so beautiful. And we've got the little picnic here also overlooking the beach, which is super nice. All right, um, I think I did see that there is a house, a resident house up in the corner here. So we're gonna check that out. There's three resident houses in the town. So we'll kind of spread them out as we walk around. But here's the first one. Got a little path coming up and lots of hybrid flowers down on the beach too. Wow, look at that. And lots of gold roses, wow. Got the whole beach lined with gold roses. Amazing. <laughs> okay, but back to the house. Uh, here we go. It's a cute, it's a smaller house, so I'm guessing this is not the main house. Surrounded by orange and purple roses, which is perfect. Got such a pretty little exterior um, with the cookie roof, I think. The sweets mailbox and the sweets roof looks like. <laughs> Super cute. Let's go check it out. Oh, oh wow, cool. Okay, so this is uh, a lot of the cinema roll Sanrio furniture, which is super cute. We've got kind of like a little coffee shop bakery going on here with the little pastries and the cases back here. We've got some sitting out. And of course, there's a little Brewster tie right over here serving up some coffee. And there's a chocolate fountain. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> Let's see, I'm trying to see this uh, lamp that's on the wall. There it is, and it's a little ice cream cone. That is so cute. Oh, I love these little umbrellas. Those are such a cute little touch in here. It's it's like a little, like a little restaurant. Super cute. So no side rooms in this one, but it did look like there's an upstairs. Okay, and we have a little bit of a sushi restaurant up here run by the Lucky Cats. We've got a host here and uh, one of them running the register over there with some pretty bonsais around, nice plants. And of course, we've got the little Lazy Susan table over here. Look at the pretty lamps on the wall. These little chairs are cute. I have not seen those chairs yet in the game. Super fun. Got like a little private booth over here. And another little dinner table with, um, I think, probably some customized chairs. And look at the cute little restaurant sign up there. Oh, and you can sit on this side too. With the little revolving table. <laughs> Super cute. Alright, so this house is kind of like a little restaurant situation. We've got the sushi restaurant upstairs and the bakery downstairs. When I just noticed that um, these modern wood furnitures must be customized too, because look at the pattern on those. That's really cool. That's definitely not what the modern wood furniture normally looks like. Oh, well, we got a little sweets. I didn't notice the sweets bench there, or sofa, sweets sofa. Super cute. Oh, and a pink floor. Yeah, love this room. Okay, here's one of our friends. Pistache. Stand proud. <laughs> okay. We will. All right, let's uh, continue following this path. Let's see, it goes this way. So we saw we saw the clock there. We saw Reese's. We were walking, now I see a windmill back there. So let's follow this little path back. We got some nice orange pansies back here, some black cosmos. Oh, look at this. It's like a little garden with a little drain, <laughs> the little water pump. Super cute, aw. And, and we'll get a good look at the windmill over here with the sunset in the background. You're just starting to see that orange above the cliff there. Super cute. Got a persimmon tree and a lemon tree back here with it. The flowers just look so nice. They're, they're just adding to the fall vibes for sure. 
Little apple trees, cherry trees, and all these bushes. I love these little bushes with the orange flowers on, and this path is so cool. All right, let's keep going. We walked by those money trees before. Let's see what's down here. We've got one of these little shelters. Super cute. There's an umbrella here. Can we pick it up? Yes, we can. <laughs> let's see what umbrella this is. <laughs> That's so fun. It's tiny. Okay. We'll carry that for a while. All right, what else have we got here? Okay, we've got a fountain with a little... Let's see if this is what I think it is. A hundred bells. Okay, no, I thought it was something else. All right, a hundred bells. So it's kind of like a wishing fountain then. Super cute. I love the way they have this path, like, just dotted with clovers and broken up and the different, the two different colors working together. It's so pretty. All right, and there's a little spot. You can come right up to the river. Listen to the water flow by. Very nice. Look at bamboo. Let's see. Let's go up this path first. Oh, there's a trellis up here. Or, uh, what is it called? Not a gazebo. I can't think of what it's called, so I'm going with trellis. Super cute. Very nice. And this goes all the way up, all the way up here to the train station, which has been surrounded with little spotty mushrooms, which is adorable. And again, just like the plaza, they've got trees surrounding. And here's the little board. It says November of 2023. Okay, very nice. So, oh, whoa, 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 we've got a pyramid over here. <laughs> That's cool. That's really cool. Oh, we've got another friend. We're going to wait. We're gonna wait. <laughs> Let's see, we've got the roost here. Let's take a look at that. Oh, let's go a little forward here. Oh, we've got some lights. Such a pretty surrounding for the roost. It's got all kinds of flowers. And look at this. This is the first time I've seen this. We've got a lighted up clock. Now I've seen the flower clock a lot of times, but I have never seen that one. And then another lit up area there. Such a cute little walk down through here. I love the flowers everywhere. It it doesn't seem like overgrown, you know? It seems like they're all here on purpose. Look at the tiny little stump. How cute. What do we have down here? Oh, this is the spot we already went to next to the river. Oh, we've got like some little steps here. Super cute. And looks like they might have been starting another area here for a bench or something. We've got the little water waterway next to it. Very nice. Very pretty. This island, this island, this town is very serene. Very calming. I like it a lot. Drago's house. Oh, that's a fun villager. Another little set of stairs here. Oh, this one leads to a bridge. A nice brick bridge. Let's see. Okay, so this leads to a smaller section that's on the other side of the river here. Let's check it out. Oh, we've got the geyser. <laughs> got the geyser item. Public works project with blue flowers around it. Very pretty. It's a nice contrast to all the oranges. Oh, and there it goes. Check that out. That's such a fun thing. We've got a little nice sitting spot here. You can enjoy the sounds of the river. What a beautiful little spot. All right, let's keep moving. <laughs> we have another villager house here. Tom's house. Oh, I like Tom. I like all the cats. <laughs> Okay, let's keep going. Uh, Tom's got some purple roses around, which is cool. Okay, so here is uh, a path down to the smaller beach. There's a smaller section of beach also lined with gold roses. Very nice. We've got some little tiny palm tree uh, stumps there. I haven't, I haven't seen any palm tree stumps before. Those were small ones, so I don't know if the palm trees get the shapes in them when you uh, plant them either. We have another friend here, Melinda. Mysteries and something in French. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what it means. If you know what it means, you can let me know. All right. 
Let's keep moving. I like how they have kind of the the bear trees mixed in here. Like they've already shed their leaves for winter coming. Oh, and look, is this what I think it is? Are these the little dandelion puffs? All right, we're going to do one. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for picking your puffs, but we have to do it. <laughs> we haven't done this in New Leaf before. That's always so fun. And guys, we see the Tokyo Tower back there. I'm sure we'll get around to that side, but that's another fun public works project. We got some more of the bare trees over here. And this cut bamboo with, is just such a cool uh, way to decorate. Okay, we've got the little fence here surrounded by purples and golds. And inside we have the little spotted toadstools, which is so fun, with some Lily of the Valley, of course. We have seen quite a few of the Lily of the Valley popping up around. Look at this little peach orchard. Just adorable, right here on the corner next to the beach entrance. And another little garden area with a scarecrow and these cool straw fences. Oh, and more Lily of the Valley. Look at this cool little... The paths in this town are the coolest, I have to say. Little crescent moon pond. What a cute surrounding for this little house. Okay, so this is another one of our player houses. It's a little more ramshackle than the last one. <laughs> I've got the corrugated iron fence. It looks like a cardboard box for a mailbox. Um, and the corrugated door. But it's still pretty. Pretty little house. Well, pretty big house. Uh, so we're going to go check out the inside of that now. Okay, here we are. We got to walk through some wheat to get in here. <laughs> it looks like a little bit of a, a garden. We've got the, uh, we've got the autumn, the autumn walls here. Little bird's nest up there. Let's see, what's making all that noise? <laughs> We've got so oh, it's like a whole little garden situation. A little flower bed with the watering can and the and the cut flower closet. Okay, here we are. You're a little bit loud, guy. <laughs> We're shutting you off. Okay, but so cute. We've got the little bird in the cage over here. And a place to sit and enjoy all the flowers. I see another Sanrio item. And we got the Pikmin. I love the Pikmin. And this mannequin is wearing the banana split hat, which is super fun. Oh, and I love that little lamp too. How cute. A little bus model. And they've got a pet turtle. Oh, did you hear the leaves rustle? That's so fun. Oh, so cool. Such a fun room. I love the entrance to it. That's so fun. Okay, let's see what's on the left. Ooh. Looks like we got kind of a bathroom here. More running water. <laughs> oh, I really like that wallpaper. And look at the pretty cherry blossom clock. That bathtub water is very green. Goes very nice with the wallpaper. Oh, we got another Karupi hallway, I believe it's called, in here. Cute little sink. We got a gargling uh, gyroid, <laughs> which is super fun. Perfect one for this room. Got a little harp over here. Looks like the Virgo harp. Got some candlelight. Oh, and the princess lamp. What a pretty little room. Very relaxing. Very nice. Okay, let's see what's in the back. I love that they brought the autumn into that front room there. Oh, there's the Karopi bridge there too. So lots of Sanrio items. And looks like uh, we've got the Zodiac collection here. Is this is this all of them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, 10 out of the 12. <laughs> I don't know which ones are missing. I'd have to really think about it. But what a fun way to display these and some of these other items that you, you wouldn't normally use in decorating, maybe. Uh, like the, the samurai suit back here and some of these swords. And I think this little temple model is a Gulliver item, probably. Got all these pretty lamps up on the wall and some more of the Karopi items in those lamps in the corners. Yeah, that's a cool display room. Very nice. I like the floor too. All right, let's see what's over here on the right. Oh, we got <laughs> we got to go around the other way. 
I like the polka dot floor too. I mean, it, like you wouldn't normally think some of this stuff would go together, but it really, it's, it's a vibe. Okay. Looks like we've got a bit of a kitchen here. <laughs> We're cooking some eggs. We've got a little table, some food. Oh, it's a kotatsu. Nice. And pancakes. I love the pancakes. <laughs> I think I see some more customized items because this is like the little marshmallow stool, but I haven't seen it in the toasted version, which is super fun. And check this out. They've got a few of the Mario items incorporated in the little mushroom and the fire flower and this little Yoshi egg back here. Super cute. There's another lucky cat hanging out. But yeah, we've got sweets furniture in here. We've got alpine furniture. We've got sloppy furniture. A little bit of everything. Uh, there's some modern wood furniture over here. Wow, it's quite the mix, but it's all working together really well, I think. Super fun. Really fun room. Oh, there's a little veggie basket back here. That's such a fun item, too. So cute. A little toaster and a tiny stripey TV. <laughs> what a fun room. Okay, let's check out the basement. Got a sloppy bed. Another one of these cute little lamps. Oh, we got Link in the corner here <laughs> with the Master Sword. I love that item. So cool. Got a little reading corner back here, or game corner, I should say. Got a game system there. And we got some chocolate cake. That's the way to go. <laughs> What's, what is this? Oh, that is cool. Wait, I've never seen this item before. Is this like a KK slider thing? That's so cool. I have never seen that. Cute little basement. Little basement. Alright, let's see upstairs. Okay, we've got some Aurora screens. Very cool. And a Nintendo dog. No, no New Leaf home would be complete without a Nintendo dog. <laughs> We've got a sweet bed in the corner and they um, lay so that they get to look at this pretty picture on the wall. Well, we can't lay down, but um, yeah, it's such a fun little mix in here too. We've got some Gracie Grace furniture. We've got a little bit of sweets. We've got uh, the leaf table that's from Nat's RV. We've got the Wii U and the little balance board, which is super fun. And this cool little vanity over here. It looks like the moon and some clouds. That's so cute. Got a little karopi snack there. Lots of di lots of different items in the room. A good mix. Oh, we've got one of the little rose sofas, which is super cute too. I love those so much. And I think that stained glass window is also customized because I've gotten one of those from Nooks and it did not have a little bird in the middle. And I see the clock model back there or the town tree clock model back there too which is super cool really cool room oh is this the mermaid floor some kind of ocean floor going on <laughs> very cool okay what a fun house it goes perfectly with the island and i think we already said hello to that little friend what happened to our little there it is <laughs> okay our parasol we need that um and we saw the fence there let's see what's over here this path leads back here through some bamboo very nice oh we've got oh a little walkway lined with stumps and mushrooms and all these stumps have different shapes in them how cute how many different shapes are there those are all different Got a lighted archway and more stumps here with even more shapes in them. That one's a music note. Oh, this is so fun. What a cool thing. What a cool little walkway. And that leads up to their camping area here. And here is another little planter box. This is a different one from the ones I've seen before. All had a brick edge on them, but this one's got a nice like white edge going on and we got the campsite back here tucked in right in front of the waterfall which is a lovely location for it and kind of you know next to the rv camp so perfect and with all the camps together <laughs> let's see is anything hiding back here oh yeah look a little bench what a sweet little spot we've got another one of those little crescent moon pond things on the on the ground there what a cute little spot. Oh my goodness. I can't get over it. <laughs> and you can hear the river. Got a nice zen bridge on this part. 
Okay, we haven't checked out... No, I think we've checked out... Oh, wait, we missed something. Because there is a police station here. The wooden one. Tucked here in this little peninsula <laughs> going on. Cool. Okay, I think we see the last player house over there, which is really cool. Very fancy. We'll get over there in just a minute. But guys, have I mentioned how much I love this path? It's so cute with the little fall leaves and the way they have all kinds of paths mixed here and there and uh, it seems like so many different pieces. I don't I don't know how you fit them all. <laughs> Maybe they have um, them uh, distributed among the different characters. Okay, here's the Tokyo Tower that we saw from across the river. Such a cool public works project and so nice the way that they've surrounded it with the pathing here. Got the little lantern. This whole island is just like so peaceful and serene and nice. Did we see whose house this was? Drago's house, yes. Okay, so we have been by here. Another little spot that they could put a bench or something. Kind of looks like they were planning or, oh, you know what, with this here, I bet there was a villager house here that moved out and then they just like planted some bamboo in the way. Okay, that makes more sense. That's kind of the shape. Okay, so we do want to work our way back here past the roost. Um, yeah, here, here it was. Past the roost and to the left, I think, is going to be our last character home. Oh, next to the pyramid. Very cool. Okay, we did look there. We might have peeked at the pyramid already, too. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. Such a fun town. Fun, but like in a peaceful and serene and beautiful autumn kind of way. Let's just see what's at the end of this path. Oh, the Resetty Center. I'm going to uh, guess that those are pitfalls around there and I'm going to not step in one of those. But that's a perfect spot for it hiding up here in the corner. Too funny. Okay, let's take a look then at this last character house. And they did say in their comment on Discord that this character house... Let me find it. This character house is... Let's see, it says it's special if you have watched or are a big fan of the anime JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. You may recognize what the rooms and furniture represents. So I personally am not familiar with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, but if you are, get ready for some something you might recognize. <laughs> uh, for, from the outside of the house, it's very opulent, very fancy, very gold. <laughs> so we're going to see what's on the inside. Okay, so we've got kind of a library here with a little spotted dog. Another Nintendo dog. Gotta have those Nintendo dogs. <laughs> um, some bookshelves. We've got some fancy candle sconces here. Desks and writing things. I love this little letter set. I'm working on getting that in Lorien. Um, we've got a suit of armor here guarding the doorway and a place to hang your hat. A little bit of the Rococo furniture up here in the corner. Oh, that's a bookshelf too. Very nice. Okay, so for those of you familiar with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, maybe this is sparking something for you. <laughs> Let's see what's in the next room. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Well, there's a there's a baby carriage in the sky. I'm not... <laughs> and now I kind of wish I did know what was going on in that anime. Okay, uh, not sure. But wait a minute. Like, where did an airplane come from? Where do you get an airplane? <laughs> this is so cool. Look at it. It's got the little nook leaf on the wings. Whoa, that is so cool. I have never seen that. Wow, does it do anything? Can we, t can we make it go? No, it doesn't make any sounds or anything. That's too bad. <laughs> but that, oh, okay, this is a really cool room. Wow, an airplane. I had no idea. There's so many things in this game. <laughs> okay, let's take a look in the back room. I have no idea what to expect now. Okay, we've got another uh, book lined room. Got bookshelves all along one wall. Got a sloppy sofa here and a grand piano. So that's quite an interesting combination. <laughs> not not too much decoration, but again, maybe it maybe it means something. 
to you <laughs> more than it does to me. Okay, let's see. I think the room on the right here was blocked off. Yeah, we won't be able to go in that room. They've got that one blocked. So let's head on downstairs to the basement. Okay, we've got more library, more books, lots of books. Okay, the fancy desk here. Got some gorgeous furniture going on in here. The big chess piece. Let's see, there's, there's a candle here. Why don't we light it up in here? <laughs> there we go, now we can see. Um, got this cool Capricorn statue. More fancy paintings. Got the, um, the arrow one up on the wall. Is that is that Sagittarius? I can't remember. A little dropped book there. Yeah, quite a fancy room. And I love this big fuzzy carpet too. It's like so lush. <laughs> I don't know why there is a manhole cover in the carpet. Um, again, that's probably a reference that I'm just not getting. <laughs> Alright, anything behind the bookshelves over here? Nope, just more carpet. Okay, well, there we go. That's the basement. Got a little hourglass here. That's fun. Alright, let's go see what's in the upstairs. Okay, wow. This is the uh, glockenspiel item, I think. Oh, look at all these clocks. It's like every clock. One of every clock. <laughs> so many clocks. Oh, a little shamrock clock over there. Got the turkey day one. Got the rococo one. Antique. I see lots of the polka dotted clock. Wow. Okay, a room full of clocks. Yeah, I definitely feel like I'm missing something here. <laughs> but it's still really cool to see, even if you don't get the references. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this house. All right, let's see if we missed anything here outside. I think we're a little bit later. It's starting to get a little dark now. The stars are coming out. It did take me a little while to record this because I kept stopping to go out and look at the eclipse that's happening here in real life, the solar eclipse, um, where I'm at. We got about 80 to 85 percent totality, so it was really cool to see. Uh, so yeah, I've been taking little breaks to go outside while I've been recording this to check that out. Super cool, but what a beautiful, beautiful, I think this is the first autumn island that I visited and I just absolutely love it. Your island is beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing it and giving us a chance to see it uh, before it is gone. I think we got everything. I really hope so. I'm just going to do one more quick <laughs> kind of walk around. And uh, why don't we take a seat on the base of the tree and look at the history. On our way out. Thank you.